uh, worries me about these machines. The day after I had that machine, this machine here running, the day after I switched it on, and now this. All my data lines are lit up. This is where the address should be. And everything's high on the thing. All my data lines. All my data lines are high. Hit your examine. Next, 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 next. There's no data on those. I can set the addresses for zero and hit it. Same thing. The accumulator is working. Nothing in there. Can dump stuff in it. And look, there it is. So the accumulator. So I don't believe it's the processor. It counts, or the counter does. But yeah, all the data lines are high. I have all the boards removed except the palm board, which it should be investigating here. That's what we're trying to look into. I got the turnkey board, I got the processor board. And this sucker is cold. So, either the, uh, the voltage drivers have one out. In fact, I'm kind of leaning towards I don't know why. Might have a little temperature. Or the uh, bus drivers went out down here. But yeah, the board is basically cold. Even the turnkey port, turnkey board, has got more temperature than that thing. Processor board, yeah, nice hot voltage regulator. But yeah, apparently something happened to the uh, palm board. I've tried it in different slots. So yeah, this is what uh, worries me about turning these machines on and running them every day. It's going to be something. Okay, so it's a. Uh, Back to the drawing board with this one. Or back to the bench, I should say. Okay. This is the uh, 5 volt regulator. Don't know what happened. Just crapped out. So. Let's see so here's your examine. What is with this thing? So. There it is. Now stepping through it, as you can see, stepping through it, so I'm back in business again. It works, so there's nothing major, that 5 volt regulator, runs the uh, auxiliary, the smaller chips down there. Minus 9 apparently runs the, uh, this is the minus 9 volt regulator. That's the 5. 9's run the uh, palms. And there may be a 5 volt in there somewhere. But anyway, it runs the auxiliary chips. I don't know what happened to it. I just don't get it. Stuff like that happens with these things. Bang, they're there. Bang, they're, they're broke. So, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Well, apparently, the only problem in this thing is that it's, it's usable. That 374. You got to you got to put in the low bite first. Oh, shoot, that's good. 
Ricky. Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. Three, seven, four. And this is an octal, so this is all the data. There's the whole program that runs this thing. It only has three instructions in it. It's got a D, a G, and an L. An L, you load the memory. L, you load the memory. G, you go to a specific address. And D is a, an octal dump. So, that's all this machine does. This is all it does. That prom sitting at three seven zero 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 zero. This is all that's in it. It's just a loop program. I don't know what it's in there for, but that's all it does. It just loops. I may have to take that apart someday and find out why it's in there. Okay, we'll call that a fix. Altair 8800B. They've done those, some modifications to it. Done those some modifications to it. Dog on, no focusing dog on machine here. I can't see nothing on this. Anyway, this is the first time I've tried turning this thing on since I got it, which was ages ago. I got my terminal set for 9600. I don't even know if that's the baud rate. This one has disk drive boards in it. And so I've got the disk drive over there just waiting. So it's either going to smoke or go. I left out some of the other cards, the digital, the analog converter, and this other homemade card, but let's see what it does. Three, two, one. It's on. Stop. Reset. I think that's a halt. Interrupt enable. So I've got an interrupt enable. Looks like there's data on the bus. This is the processor board. I just got this. I got my board. Here's the turnkey board for the auto start and the terminal. Two disk drive boards. Two memory boards, which amount to 64K. And, uh, well, this it's a serial and parallel board. Uh, they went to some of the inputs that they were using for data analysis. It might even go to a printer, for all I know. The prom board, the prom is located on the turnkey board. It's down in there. Uh, Is it at? It 
here it is. That's the prom. You can mount a prom on these turnkey boards. And it's got, uh, it's a little bit of memory. It's a little bit of memory in there too along the top. And then you put your ROMs along there and you set your addresses for the memory for the, uh, for the prom and the memory on this board through these switches over here. You also set the baud rate and the start address. These are the sense switches. But these, uh, you can set the serial setup for the uh, terminal. So, I don't know what the baud rate is. No smoke, which is, uh, amazes me. Yeah, I don't know. So, no smoke out of it. That. Where's it at? That. I believe is an AMD processor. It's an 8080. It says AM on it. I believe that's the uh, early AM logo, AMD logo. It's an AM8080. Board is circa 1977 on this. Uh, the Chromenko board's from circa 1977. This here, we missed it by about three minutes. The cap right there. See how discolored it's getting? This is the uh, first 32K of memory. That cap right there started smoking. And it had to be replaced. I took it out, left the other 32K in. I reset its address. Apparently it's sitting above the uh, Turnkey's address. Oh, it's still on. All right. So anyway, this might be a long one for this one.